Right, I've got another point to make about swords and that. Uh, it's particularly about the noise they make when being drawn from their scabbards and sheaths. Um, I'm going to start with uh, this one. Uh, this is uh, a sabre, actually. It's uh, an Indian style called a tulwa. Now, the scabbard is wood covered in leather, and uh, let's see what uh, this kind of weapon being drawn from its scabbard, see what uh, sound it makes. Principally leathery, with a little bit of a woody sound in there, I would say, uh, but uh, not all that loud, I think you'll agree. Um, but uh, maybe that's not the only sound uh, we should be listening to. So let's uh, have a few more examples. Uh, this style is called a cookery. It's Nepalese. And again, it's a wooden scabbard covered uh, this time in buffalo hide. Let's uh, give it a go now. It's quite a tight-fitting uh, sheath, this one. Uh, and that's the noise that one makes. Uh, but uh, I have more examples. This is a modern reproduction of a Dark Age sword. Uh, sort of 6th century jobby. Uh, again, wooden scabbard covered uh, in leather, and this time at least partially lined with fur. The fur comes down to about here. should actually go the full length of the scabbard. And uh, part of the reason for it is the idea is that you turn it upside down and the sword doesn't fall out. Cute, huh? Um, now, uh, it gives you quite a small, uh, smooth draw, and it also oils the blade each time. So, what sort of noise does this make upon being drawn? Not a lot, really. A slight rattle from the belt buckle there, which was loose, but otherwise uh, pretty darn quiet, I think you'll agree. Uh, now, it could be that there are some katana plonkers watching. You know what a katana plonker is, don't you? It, it's the sort of guy who says, well, if he's going to talk about swords, then actually he should talk about the katana, because the katana was the bestest sword ever, ever, ever in the world, in every conceivable way, actually. Yeah, right. Well, uh, just to indulge you, katana plonkers, oh my goodness, it's a katana. Now, in this case, the uh, scabbard is... Wood again, this time covered in lacquer. So, uh, let's see what uh, sound this makes. It was a sort of woody sound, wasn't it? Perhaps that shouldn't surprise us. And here's my point. Swords on being drawn don't go <laughs> They just don't. And why would anyone want their sword to go <laughs> on, on being drawn? Uh, you, just, you just tell everyone uh, within quite some distance that you're, you're drawing your weapon. That's to your disadvantage, surely. You, you'd want to draw stealthily if you could. Um, and, and how would it make that noise? It, you'd actually have to have metal grinding against metal. Uh, now, if you ground against the edge, you'd be bluntening your sword every time you drew it or put it away. So that would be a bad idea, wouldn't it? Uh, but what if, what if the sword were gripped either side um, by a, a metal scabbard? Well, then just think of the engineering tolerances. It would have to grip really firmly to get that noise. Uh, on a cold day, it would contract slightly, and that's it. You wouldn't be able to get your sword out at all. And um, if you drew your sword and then perhaps fell over, bent your scabbard ever so slightly, you wouldn't be able to get your sword back in again, would you? Uh, no, um, they didn't go shing. But they do in Hollywood movies. Yes, in a Hollywood movie, you can't even get a, a short knife out of a leather scabbard without uh, it going whing. Just a little bit, just to let people know that it's a, a sword or a blade or it's really sharp and someone could get hurt. Oh, for goodness sake. Hollywood, pull yourself together.